Welcome back to Lifestyle of More. Today, we're gonna to be making my favorite homemade pizza. Take a look at all of the ingredients you'll need. Let's start off by greasing your pizza pan with a little bit of olive oil. Now go ahead and carefully lay out your pizza dough. I'm using the refrigerated dough because it just cooks a little bit better for me and I like how much it rises in the oven. So be careful with laying it out, but make sure that it covers the entirety of the pizza pan. Making sure you cover the edges here. Okay, perfect, let's go ahead and roll the crust. There's so much extra dough and it's fun to make really thick crust. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the pesto on the dough. I love pesto, so I like to put it on the bed of the dough as well as the crust. Okay, so when you get it covered with pesto, bake it on 400 for eight minutes. While you're doing that, let's go ahead and chop up the toppings. I'm starting off with a little bit of fresh shallots. Okay, let's go ahead and add some mushrooms. Your dough is ready. Set that to the side and continue chopping. I really like the taste of the yellow peppers on this pizza. It's so amazing. And you know what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and add a red pepper as well. Perfect, so once you get everything chopped up, we can go ahead and start applying the pizza sauce. I like a good amount of pizza sauce, but this really depends on your liking. Okay, so once you get the pizza sauce on, go ahead and add your first layer of mozzarella. Once we've got that on, let's go ahead and start applying the toppings. A little bit of mushroom, some of the peppers. Notice that I am not using my shallots. Not yet at least. Apply some pepperonis if you want to. I decided to add pepperonis to one half of this pizza. Okay, I love fresh oregano, and this takes the pizza to the next level. Okay, so let's go ahead and start dicing our chicken breast into small, tiny pieces. Make sure you're not going to be using this chopping board with anything else, because you do not want to cross-contaminate with the meat. Go ahead and saute with the shallots that were still left on the board for about 10 minutes, and go ahead and get ready to apply to the pizza. A little bit of sea salt, a little bit of Parmesan. Go ahead and bake for 12 minutes at 400. Look how yummy this pizza looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so good. I literally cannot wait to make another. For more yummy recipes, make sure you guys subscribe at lifestyleofmore.com. And you know the saying, I'll see you on the blog.